what uh, are your reading habits at this point? How how many books would you say you're reading a year, a month? I, I, I try, you know, I think I read on average about 50 books a year, so it probably comes out to about one a week, but I listen to a lot of things on audio, so I have that. Um, so I do a strange mix, so I tend to listen to nonfiction on audio, not exclusively. This summer I had a lot of like household chores to do. I was I'm renovating a house upstate, so while I'm peeling off paint, I like to, that kind of thing, I like to just listen to a novel. So, but generally I listen to nonfiction and then I'm usually reading one or two books at a time. So I'll have like a library book on a Kindle and that's the kind of thing I read in the middle of the night so I can wake up and read and not wake anybody up. And then I'll have, you know, a paper book that is, you know, I'm carrying around everywhere. And it's a mix of YA, middle grade, adult graphic novel, and as I mentioned, sort of the audio of nonfiction. And is there a, a difference for you as to the type of book you might uh, insist on a paper copy of versus one that's okay for the Kindle? Or is it just luck of the draw? If I could read everything, this is going to make me so unpopular. If I could read everything on a Kindle, I would, but I want to buy books from indie bookstores. So I buy paper books from indie bookstores and I buy my audiobooks from indie bookstores through Libro FM. I hate reading a hardcover. Um, because I like to read in bed or I like to read like laying down and it, it's just very awkward and all of that. So I will read a paperback um, in, in like I, if I'm reading a paperback, I'll read a paperback if it's not too long. Length is another thing. If it's like a really huge book, it really comes down to ergonomics. So, but I tend to buy a lot of new releases anyhow in, um, so sometimes I'll actually buy the book to support the author and have the book on my shelf and then read a library version of it so that I can just have it with me all the time. I love the fact that I can also read my library books like when I'm on the train and I, I forgot to bring a Kindle with me so I just pop it up and start reading. Oh yeah, God bless my uh, local library during the uh, pandemic with yeah. the Programs for ebooks and audiobooks. And audiobooks. I love Libby. Me and Libby are best friends. 